spot speed studies which are usually done by the traffic engineers for planning either traffic regulations such as the speed limits or for designing various geometric elements of the road. Hello and welcome back to the Master Civil Engineering and in this video we will learn that how to find the speed limit values as well as the design speed for a particular highway from spot speed studies. The question is uh, given and it says that the spot speed studies were carried out at a certain stretch of a highway with mixed flow and the consolidated data collected are given below in this table. You can see the speed ranges in this first column and the number of vehicles observed in the second column. We have to determine the upper and lower values of the speed limits and the design speed for checking the geometric design elements of the highway. So first thing which we will do is that we will find the cumulative frequency for each of these speed ranges and then we will plot a graph between the mid speed and the cumulative frequency to find the value of speed limits and the design speed for geometric design and we will perform all of these calculations in Excel uh, so let's move to the Excel to find the values now that we are in Excel and I have already made a table having the five columns the first column is the speed range in kilometer per hour this is already given in the question second is the mid speed in kilometers per hour third one is the frequency this is already given in the question for each of the speed range and the total frequency is given as 850 fourth column is the frequency percentage and the fifth column is the cumulative frequency percentage we have to find the value for the remaining columns so the mid speed mid speed is the average of the upper and the lower speed limit that is for the first speed range it will be the average of 0 and 10 which is 5 so for the first speed range write mid speed as 5 for the second speed range that is 10 to 20 average of 10 and 20 is 15 so write 15 then for the rest of the speed range you can find the value automatically by selecting the first two uh, rows and then dragging it till the last row and you will get the values for other speed range now the frequency percentage this is equal to the frequency divided by the to uh, total frequency multiplied by the hundred so for the first speed range you can find this uh, frequency percentage that is you will select the first row of this frequency percentage and then write equal sign then you will write a bracket and then you will select the frequency of the first speed range which is 12 then divide it by the total frequency which is 850 and then close the bracket and multiply this with 100 and you will get the frequency percentage which is 1.41 percent similarly for rest of the speed range you will select the frequency percentage of the first speed range and then drag it till the last row and you will get the frequency percentage for different speed ranges now to find the cumulative frequency since for the first speed range cumulative frequency percentage and frequency percentage will be same so select the first row of the cumulative frequency percentage and write equal sign and then select the frequency percentage of the first speed range and then press enter and you will get the cumulative frequency now for the uh, second uh, cumulative frequency of the second speed range uh, it, it will be the sum of this uh, 1.41 and 2.12 so you will select the second row of the cumulative frequency percentage and then write uh, equal sign then you will select the cumulative frequency percentage of the first speed range which is 1.41 and then you will add the frequency percentage of the second speed range which is 2.12 and then press enter and you will get the cumulative frequency percentage for the second speed range then to get the value for the 
other speed ranges you will select the cumulative frequency percentage of the second speed range and then drag it till the last row and you will get the cumulative frequency percentage for rest of the speed ranges so this is how you can find cumulative frequency percentage from these uh, spot speed studies in excel quickly now that we have found out the cumulative frequency percentage as well as the mid speed we will plot a graph between the mid speed in kilometer per hour and cumulative frequency percentage and then we can get the value for the speed limits as well as the design speed now that we have found out the values of the mid speed as well as the cumulative frequency percentage we will plot a graph between the mid speed and the cumulative frequency with mid speed on the horizontal axis and cumulative frequency on the vertical axis to find the values of the speed limits as well as the design speed so pl to plot the graph we will select the values and then we will click on this insert and go to the charts and select a scatter with smooth lines and we will get a chart then we will make some modifications to this chart before finding the values the first thing is that we will click on this plus sign and we will unselect this chart title as well as the legend and then we will add the axis titles for the horizontal axis we will write a speed in kilometer per hour and for the vertical axis we will write cumulative frequency in percentage we will also make some modifications to the horizontal and vertical axes before finding the values first we will select the horizontal axes we will change the uh, color of this horizontal axis from gray to black and increase its weight to one point to see the values more clearly and then we will click on the axis options and we will change the minor units to uh, two is fine i think we will let it two okay and then for the tick marks we will change the major type to the cross and the minor type to inside this will help us to see these minor units similarly for the vertical axis we'll also make some modifications so first change the color of the vertical axis to black and increase the weight to one point and from the axis option change the maximum unit as hindrance and minor unit which is two and then also for major type let the major type be cross and minor type be inside now we can see the values more clearly okay you can again increase the size of the chart you can also change the color of this curve so change the color from the orange to black increase the weight to two point for the marker points also change the color from orange to black so this gives us the graph between the speed and the cumulative frequency now that we have to find the values of the speed limits we know that the lower speed limit is the 15th percentile speed so on the vertical axis we will find the 15 percent cumulative frequency so and from that we will draw a horizontal line so 15 percent lies here from this point draw a horizontal line and see where it cuts the curve from that point you can draw the vertical line and you will get the value of the 
lower speed limit or you can say the 15 percentile speed so we can see the value for this is between 28 and 20 28 and 30 so let it be 29 kilometer per hour so we can say that the lower speed limit is 29 kilometer per hour similarly for upper speed limit we know that the upper speed limit is the 85th uh, percentile speed so on the vertical axis find the 85 percentage cumulative frequency and from that point draw a horizontal line so 85 well since minor units on the vertical axis are two units so 85 will lie between 84 and 86 so it lies here from this point you can draw the horizontal axis horizontal line see where it touches the curve okay and from this point draw a vertical line and you will get the value for the upper speed limit or you can say that 85th percentile speed and in this case it is exactly 60 kilometers per hour similarly for the design speed we know that the design speed is 98th percentile speed so on the vertical axis you will find the 98% uh, cumulative frequency and from this point you will draw a horizontal line 98% will uh, here is 98% cumulative frequency from this point draw a horizontal line see where it touches the curve okay and from this point you can draw the vertical line and this will give you the design speed so we can see that the design speed is approximately 82 kilometers per hour so this is how you can find the values of the lower speed limit which is the 15th percentile speed upper speed limit which is the 85th percentile speed and the design speed which is the 98th percentile speed to get the values so if i summarize the concept for finding the values first you have to plot a graph between the speed and the cumulative frequency and to find the lower speed limit which is the 15 percentile speed you will find on the vertical axis the 15 percent cumulative frequency from this point you will draw a horizontal line see where it touches the curve from that point draw a vertical line where it intersects the horizontal axis this is the value of your 15 percentile or you can say the lower speed limit which in this case is 29 kilometers per hour similarly for the upper speed limit which is the 85th percentile speed locate on the vertical axis the 85 percent cumulative frequency from this point draw a horizontal line see where it touches the curve from that point draw a vertical line the point where this vertical line touches the horizontal axis this will be the value of your upper speed limit or you can say the 85th percentile speed which is in this case is 60 kilometers per hour similarly for design speed you will find the 98 percent cumulative frequency from this point you will draw a horizontal line here we see where it touches the curve from that point you will draw a vertical line the point where the vertical line touches the horizontal axis this will be your design speed or you can say the 98th percentile speed which in this case is 82 kilometers per hour so in this video you learn that how to find the value of the speed limits as well as the design speed from the spot speed studies i hope that this solution video was clear and you found this video helpful if you like my videos please help the channel by subscribing to the channel and also sharing this video with your friends thanks for watching and stay tuned